In the past four years, Park Church has gone through rapid and dynamic changes. In just the past four years, we've moved from a movie theater in Red Bank to a rented church space on Sunday afternoons in Tinder Falls to our current location here at 31 Park. We have much to be grateful for and much to look forward to. Our lead pastor, Christian Andrews, has been working at an incredible pace for the last four years. And in recognition of the special burden that pastors carry in shepherding a community during normal times and the extreme burdens that they carry in shepherding a community at times of active growth and dynamic change, we are pleased to announce a sabbatical for Christian Andrews extending from November 1 to January 1. We are confident that this rest will be a great investment in Christian's leadership of this community going into the future. The notion of sabbatical comes initially from Genesis chapter 1, where we see God creating in six days and then resting on a seventh. He then commands humanity to live in a similar rhythm, where we set our hands to good, faithful, productive work, and then take faithful and productive rest. Later in the scriptures, we see the same command being given to the land itself. The land is to be worked for six years and then given rest on the seventh in order that it might be renewed and remind us of our reliance upon God. Speaking for the staff and elders, we're encouraging Christian to take this sabbatical and we're excited. Excited for him to get rest, to be restored and renewed for the work ahead that Park Church shares together. And excited for all of us to see what God will do here in Christian's absence and then again when he returns in January. This summer I had breakfast with a seasoned pastor who had agreed to meet with me to give me counsel. He learned that I had led our church through a building campaign and was growing into leading a church that was expanding and had offered to give me advice. As we sat and as he listened, the first question he asked was when I last took a break. In 13 years uh, since I left Princeton to come out to Red Bank, the truth is I've never really had a prolonged period of rest where I've decided to cease and stop. I've been busy at work with many good things and it has been a wonderful experience and adventure for me. But starting last September, the stress and strain of raising money for the building was more than I could manage in a healthy way. A lot of you noticed that I was tired during that time. I wasn't sleeping well in that month and began to talk with some people who were close to me back then who said, you really need to take a break and rest. In July, as I sat at breakfast with this pastor, he said very plainly after hearing me describe all of the good things that God was doing here and all of the work that I was taking responsibility for, he said very simply, the best thing you can do for the church is to take a break and take a rest. About two weeks ago, I brought this up to the elders and they were very supportive of my plan to rest for the benefit of the church. The next day I was in my office with Matt and Jared, the three of us sat together and we strategized about how they would take leadership in my absence. I have confidence that the two of them are gonna lead well. They'll serve God as they lead in this church and this body will continue to grow in my absence. And so beginning in November and through December, I will be doing just that. I will be resting. My sabbatical will start and my plans are very simply to cease working so that I can be renewed and return in a way that is as healthy and helpful as possible for our church and our mission together. What you can do during this time is very simple. First, you can let me rest and cease. Secondly, you can pray for me and that God would speak to me and also pray for our church that God would continue to lead. We have lots of capable leaders who will step in as I'm gone. The church is certainly not just me. And then the last thing that you can do is to invest yourself and continue to investing in this church even as I'm gone. It would be a real loss if you thought that the best thing would be for you also to step away until I return. There's plenty of good mission and ministry to be done here and you are called to continue investing your time and your financial resources, your energy and your presence here at worship to help continue to build this body up. And then when I return, I'll come back to a place that is renewed as I have been renewed, ready to serve God in a new way and in a new season. Please do pray for me. I ask you for that. I know that it will help. And I look forward to being with you again.